Good morning to you all. It's Fairy Garden Challenge time. The hashtag Fairy Garden Challenge June 1st, 2022. Oh my gosh, are you ready to make a fairy garden? Let's see how many great fairy gardens we get together. I am the hostess for this challenge and let's see who my co-hostesses are. My first co-hostess today is Buckeye Girl Wreath and Things. Oh my gosh, she is such an awesome channel. She's a great supporter and puts up great content and she's always joining in with someone's challenge. She is really there helping everyone every step of the way she can. Now let's see who my other co-hostesses are. Here is another one of my awesome great friends that's always here helping me every chance she gets. My co-hostess is Gigi Creation. Oh my gosh, she's an awesome channel and she really is a great supporter. She's always here cheering me on and she's always giving lots of love and support wherever she can. Please go check out her channel too. And here is my third co-hostess, Miniatures, Cooking, and More. Oh my gosh, she is an awesome channel too. And if you love miniatures, you need to go over to her channel. She will give you so much inspiration. She makes all kinds of little things to decorate her miniature homes out of. You can't believe what she does. Just look at what she does. Look at all these beautiful, beautiful little miniature rooms she has put together. They are all done with such beautiful style. I can't believe how beautiful they all look. Please go check out her channel. I think I have some that are three and four years old now. I usually buy one or two new ones every year. So even though it looks like I have spent a lot of money, as you saw, the price wasn't too much. And I usually buy one or two a year. So that's why I have so many. But please don't leave them out in the garden without a cover over them because they will rot within one year if you do. Uh, there is a little bit of warping on some of mine too from just the moisture in the air outside. But I just don't have enough room to store everything in the house or the garage. So, but if you take care of them, they last pretty good. Well, now you know what we're going to start with. I have a little piece of wood here I'm going to use somewhere. And I have a little piece of, oh, I think I dug out of the trash at work or something. I'm not quite sure where I got it. It does have a nice little curve finished off here. So I may end up using it where you can see that curve because it looks so nicely finished. Like I said, I don't know what it was for. Uh, probably a countertop or something. I don't really know. But, you know, Grandma finds all kinds of little things for free for her garden. So, let's get busy. I have to look for some more supplies to finish this one off. But we're going to try to see if we can do it for free. Can you believe it? Free fairy garden. Well, I tried out that little piece of black granite or whatever I had. It wasn't going to work. Even this isn't going to work well, but it'll work long well enough to take a picture and make a little garden and I'll have to carefully take it back out. It's even too big for this container also. It's going to crush my poor plants. But we're just gonna show a short little video on a little short little fairy garden and how to build one. So I had looked around and I found um, this is new that I've never used it, but it was bought last year. It's a um, saucer you put under a pot you know, if you look carefully in my yard, you can always find something to use. So let's go see if we can get some other stuff done. Well, you can tell by the way these bags look. They're not new. This is moss that I have bought over the last year or so. Moss is very expensive too. And I used to leave the moss out in the garden after I made up the, gar the fairy gardens. But I don't do that anymore. It was costing me way too much money. And because I have so many fairy gardens, I'll be showing you these fairy gardens as I make them up. And some of them I'll be leaving alone and some of them I won't. But I definitely will not be leaving the moss in them. It's just too expensive. 
and you can redo and reuse moss if you carefully take care of it and that's what I do. Now what I have done, I pushed that little piece of wood, remember that little piece of wood I picked up off the ground? I put it in front of the little saucer if you can't see it anymore. And I put the moss on top of that. I think it's looking pretty good for building our foundation for our fairy garden. Well, I think we're pretty well done now. What do you think? Keep in mind, I used things I already owned and had. I didn't buy anything new. Everything in this display was something I already owned and had. Most of it I've had, I don't know if I have anything in here that's newer than a year old. Everything is probably a year to four years old. All my flowers, the moss, I, oh, I take that back. The seeds were newer, I bought them this year. And the plants that grew up in here are, are from this year also. But this is maybe a 10 cent post because I did use some seeds that I bought this year. But everything else is something we've already had in the past. What do you think? I thought it turned out pretty nice. A cozy little fairy garden in the garden. And all my cute little fairies here. She's sharing with her friend. Look what I found. And she looks a little bored. You're always finding something, she says. Like, oh my gosh. And the other little fairy. She's on her little snail. Oh, they're always doing, leaving me out, she says. I'm always the third one out. It's always better to just have two or four. When you have three, one is always left out in the conversation. Oh well, you know we do the best we can. Aren't they cute little fairies? I love them so. I have so many little fairies, I can't wait to share them all with you. I thought it turned out pretty nice. Never overlook what you may already own and have. Look around. Look around. You may be amazed at what you can put together for free just by checking out what you already own and have. I thought it turned out pretty cute. Let me know what you think. Give me a comment in the comment section. Look how cute my little house is. Doesn't it look cute back there? I was very happy with it. And of course, I went and pulled some of my silk flowers out to give more color to this for right now. I was very happy. Let me know what you thought. This is the first fairy garden for June. Keep in mind, more to come. There's always more fairy gardens to come at Grandma's place. Hugs and kisses to all of you. And don't forget, we'll keep coming back and sharing with you what we have. There'll always be something new to enjoy at our place. If you're not already following, please think about it. Give me a thumbs up, and we appreciate all your love and support. And for all of you that joined in on this challenge, oh, thank you, thank you so much. Don't forget, if any of you would like to make a fairy garden and put it up on any video I put up this month, go right ahead. We love to have more friends sharing their fairy gardens. Don't be afraid. We'll have something new and different every day. And I'm going to do some fairy gardens in the house also. So if you'd like to join in on a fairy garden in the house, I will mention it the day before, or maybe even two or three days before we're going to do it. So if you want to join in on that, you can. But you don't have to. You can just come and see what Grandma does. Get inspiration for a fairy garden in the garden or in the house. It doesn't matter where always need a little bit of magic, don't we, my dear friends? <laughs>